Hey, what's up, hood folks? This is Jeremy. And Rashad. So, today is evening time. Daylight saving time has finally ended. I love it. I love when it's longer nights and shorter days. That's why I choose to work overnights. Jeremy, why you work overnight? You can't get nothing in the daytime? Why are people always giving you unsolicited advice? I don't want to hear it, motherfucker. Anyway, so. Now I got that out of the way. We got up this morning and made that stinking ass Popeye's chicken sandwich video. And y'all know I don't go with the flow. I don't go with the trends. But since we was up and time had went back and we had an extra hour to spare, <laughs> go check that video out. It'll be over here somewhere or down low. Or it might be the, when you get to the end of the video, it may be the whatever. So today, we still eating healthy. It's the first of the month. Cash them checks and come on. Y'all. Can I input something real quick? What? I rode by Popeyes and the lines were even longer. Damn, these folks are buying their Popeyes salmon. Drive through and inside. And people try to say, ooh, Jeremy, you know you tripping. You know that salmon worth the money. People just can't let you have your own opinions, can they? They can't let you have your own opinions. Anyway, and I was reading y'all the comments while I was getting ready for this video. Some of y'all tripping. What it is? Cauliflower. Now, I am finna make something I never made before. Cheese sticks. I love cheese sticks. I love pizza. I love eating healthy lately. And I can't believe so many people be hating on that. Is every video you cook from now on, Jerry, gonna be healthy? We don't wanna see that. But I bet y'all were cooking big burgers and fries and, and all kind of fat in the food every week. Ooh, he ought to eat a salad sometime. Anyway, we finna make <laughs> I ain't the haters. Because the haters can. <laughs> but seriously though, we finna make some bread sticks, cheese sticks, cheese sticks, using the cauliflower. Now this sound like some straight up bullshit. It don't sound app appetizing. Like how this gonna turn to a piece of <sighs> Alright, so I never bought a whole cauliflower before. I use this body in the pack. I'm pretty sure the, the pack will do better. And so <clears throat> you're gonna need one cauliflower for this video for this recipe. All right, so they say you just get the uh, florets out of here. Whoa, that's a big one. But this is not a big cauliflower though. So you just cut the florets out. You can cut them, break them or loose. Oh, this is. Uh, I feel like my finger gonna break off. Fucking with this, I'm gonna cut, man, cut my finger. Off. Look at that. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, as we make this video, people know they coming on that little Popeye video. So this is what you left with right here. Cauliflower florets. Now I've seen some people make this uh, recipe, and one thing I noticed is that people don't believe in washing their stuff off. I ain't never, I'm telling you, I don't understand people. And people be tripping. Ooh, you shouldn't eat that. You shouldn't eat that. But if you're willing to put stuff in your mouth without washing it off, I know that mouth nasty. I couldn't be no doctor. Motherfucker got ginger vitamins hanging on their lips. <laughs> so this was some vinegar. So I just sprayed them all like that. <clears throat> then I'm gonna wash them out with some cold water. And break them apart. Like that. I wash my ass off good because I don't want to get all the germs and pathogens on my shit. I don't want nothing dirty in my mouth. Everything that go in my mouth needs to be clean. <laughs> So you'll need some kind of food processor, a blender, to blend it up. So I'm just gonna put them in there like this. And my little ninja thingy, let's do a little bit at a time. Pause it. All right, <laughs> put the rest of them in there. This smell like broccoli. But y'all know broccoli, people try to make it seem like broccoli and cauliflower are like two whole different things. Just one is green and one is white. But they taste similar the same. Okay. 
So this is how it's gonna look like this, like rice, kind of rice. And you, I remember one time I made a video and said, oh yeah, I'm gonna make some cauliflower rice. Jeremy, rice cauliflower, not cauliflower rice. Somebody already gotta correct you, but they don't never wanna run to correct these balls in their mouth. Put the left on the right and the right on the left. Anyway, so this is how it's gonna look right here, like that. And I'm telling y'all, this is stinking. All right, so what you wanna do is get a dry pan, and you wanna take your cauliflower and just put it in here. What you gonna do is cook this for like five to, you know, five minutes or so, and this is just gonna help. So when I get ready to get the water out of it, it's gonna make it easier. Look like grits, no? Yeah. I wish I did have me some good old damn grits. Damn, I want some grits. Cheese and grit. So like I said, we're gonna cook this up five minutes or so to so get a little soft and stuff and then we're gonna go to the next step <clears throat> I hope for so I let it go for about five minutes or so and so I'm gonna transfer it to like a strainer look at that stuck to the bottom and what I'm gonna do is let this sit in here for about five or ten minutes to cool off and then we're gonna strain and choke this bitch out get all that water out of it all right so it's been about a good 10 minutes, I let it sit here and, and chill and get cool. Cause this shit is hot. You don't want to put, try to squeeze it out and hurt your hand, burn your hands up. And let's see how my water came. Not that much came out. So you want to start out with a clean rag. Clean. This is clean. Not that they've been scraping in your ass. <laughs> and you take your cauliflower and put it on it like that. Now you want to just squeeze it. Squeeze it. Ooh, that's so disgusting. I'm gonna get all the water you got you can. Just kind of like <laughs> that. Feel like you in the back. <laughs> that feel like an ad. That feel like a soft ad. You squeeze. Uh oh, I think I'm squeezing a little too hard. My rag start to rip. And the more water you get out of it, the crunchier it's gonna be. The better it's gonna be. I will tell y'all one thing though, this really does stink. No, no. It smells like ass. So that's, so that's all the water that came out the cauliflower. That probably makes some good broth for some, but you just use that, then you're gonna pour all your cauliflower in your bowl. <clears throat> and it's gonna look like that. That kind of like grits, a little dry dough. And like I said, it does stink. All right, to this, I want to add one egg. Now, I've got to season my crust now. I don't know about other folks that did. I need my crust to be seasoned, have some taste to it. So I'm going to add, like, like I said, like a, a half a teaspoon of each of these seasons. This is Italian season, like a half a teaspoon of that. Garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of that. Parsley, just a couple drips of that, just a little bit of drip. Basil leaf, that basil, about a half a teaspoon. Heard me say teaspoon now, damn it. <clears throat> just a little bit of onion powder. Like a teaspoon, this is salt, like a teaspoon of salt. But you don't want to be too salty because that damn cheese already salted enough. And some pepper. <clears throat> and then you take it and mix it up like this. That look good, don't it? Uh, hell no. <laughs> I 
Now I'm making a real small one because I don't plan on making that much. Now if you're making a lot, you probably need a bigger cauliflower. You're gonna need more stuff, but since, like I said, I'm making just a little bit of this, this is my first time making this, and if it's nasty, I don't wanna be throwing away a whole lot of money and stuff. <clears throat> All right, so on my, put, I got a little plate, pan right here with some uh, parchment paper, and I'm gonna shape this into the form of a box, a square. And what do we got to do? Get them corners. All the corners. We ain't throwing nothing away. Like y'all be like, it's worth it. It ain't that much money, Jeremy. <laughs> we don't spread it out like this. I want to use my hands, cause hands work better. But I don't want that on my hand though. Oh, I gotta use my hand. I'm gonna do it to like a little square. What's up? Now, this is gonna be a little person side pan piece, ain't it? You see? It's small as fuck. Oh, hell! What's that? I forgot one ingredient. And what is that? Stop the camera for one second. Huh, folks, I, I forgot, but you had to add a half a cup of cheese inside this before you even put it on this thing. So we finna, you know what I'm saying? Keep it real. People, y'all scared to keep it real because y'all think, oh, they're gonna laugh at me. Take your take your cauliflower crust, put this bit back in. See, that's why I like making my own stuff at home. If you fuck up, you can do it right here. So let's do this. Take it and put it back in there. A half a cup of cheese. Half a cup of cheese. And then, cause that's what's gonna help bind it, the cheese. I left the cheese out. The cheese need to be hard. You can shred it up yourself or you can get pre-shred like me. And then you stir it all up again. See, hood kitchen. Keep it real kitchen. Other folk would've just went on and cooked it, got off camera and did this step without telling y'all, being fake with y'all. See, I don't be fake. I keeps it real. Now I'm going to try this again. I'm going to get some more parchment paper. All right, so let's try this again. <laughs> and the cheese I use is mozzarella provolone cheese. A half a cup of that. Well, that's a half a cup. Half a cup. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to pour it back on there again. And this is also the same step you use if you're making cauliflower. Making this, and you're going to turn it into a pizza. And speaking of pizza, we had actually went to Walmart to actually buy this. Uh, pizza crust because Walmart was all on doing it commercial. So I'm like, oh, try our pizza crust out. Our cauliflower pizza crust out. You won't go wrong. Until we saw that price. Nine dollar for that lip thing. And it wasn't even this big. And when you see our vlog for Wednesday, you'll see what we thought about that pizza crust when we was in Walmart. And people were looking at us like, oh my God. Why so much hostility towards the cauliflower crust? They're saving family lives. Yeah, right. And so what I'm just gonna do is shape the size of this a little bit. Like I said, I want it to look a little square. You know, this smell just like them damn tater but tots. I, you know, uh, veggie tots I did a, a review for about a week ago? Yeah. This smell just like that. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the oven on 400 degrees. 400 degrees for 30 minutes or less. I'll let you know exactly where it was when I take it out. So we're going for 30 minutes or less on 400 degrees. And while I got this oven on, guess what else I'm cooking? Fresh bacon, cause we're gonna put some bacon on the top and turkey pepperoni. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. Let's get this thing out the oven. Oh, look at that. Your very own cauliflower crust. That actually look good. 
And it smells better than when you first put it in. It still smells like vegetable. Well, I guess it's still vegetable. So what I'm going to do is take it out. Pray my strength. Flip it over. Woo! That looks good. Now, right here, you can take this and put you some sauce on and make you a pizza. But today, we're not making a pizza. We're making cheese sticks. So you want to start off with, I'm using two types of cheese like I did earlier. Marin mozzarella and provolone cheese. <clears throat> and I'm loading it up with cheese. Ain't no stingy with cheese. When you get cheese stick, they be loaded up. In my hometown where I'm from, it's a uh, pizza place. I ain't calling no name. Don't tell people where you exactly where you from or live at. Cause bitches be trying to fuck you up. But they got some pizza stick there. Man, I can't wait till I go home for crib. I'm sure going to get me some. It actually was good. He got me hooked on that pizza. Uh, the pizza. Uh, Don't call no name. All right, so we're going to do half just regular cheese sticks. And the other half, we're going to put some. Look at this. This is my homemade bacon. Chopped it up freshly. We're just going to do that on one half side. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is keto friendly, they say. Based on the keto stuff. Alright. I'm using some turkey pepperoni from like I did with the zucchini squash. Zucchini or um, spaghetti. People talking about that pepperoni gonna make it not help them. Even though it's turkey. We all know turkey pepperoni ain't that good. Mmm, mm, that look good, don't it? Yes, it do. <clears throat> I just can't believe that Walmart said it crust for nine dollar. Shit, I'd rather make my own. Fuck that. Give me some of those. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> That's enough pepperoni. Mm. Uh uh. All right, I'm gonna go with a, just a tad bit more cheese, just a tad bit more, just to cover it up. Fucking glue together. Close the scene. <laughs> I'm putting it back in my 400 degree oven and we're gonna do five minutes, 10 at the most. I'll let y'all know when it get done. All right, here folks, seven minutes later, let's get down here. Get that. Ooh, that look like a good ass cheese stick. That look like a real piece of it. Get closer. Now, I ain't gonna lie, it's, it looks good, but it still smell like vegetables. It smell like them damn broccoli tots I reviewed last week. So we gonna cut this mug up, and we gonna go on and get into this motherfucker. So this cutting it up. I don't need no cutting board. We hood over here, we don't need no damn cutting board. That's how I look. Don't look like a cheese dick. Yep. Damn. All right, here, folks. So get down here. Look at that. Look at that little cheese. Look at the back of that. That look like cheese dicks. Look at that. It still smells like vegetable. Now let's give it a taste. Hey, look at that. You can hold up like a pizza or cheese stick. Mm. Now, if you think you're finna get some cheese stick, bread tasting, you ain't finna get that. But if you on keto, low carb, this gonna satisfy you. That crust tastes crunchy. It ain't soggy, it ain't salty. It got a lot of flavor in it because you know I put all that flavor and season in it. Mm -hmm. Come down here. Now let's try a piece. With bacon on it, this bacon, turkey pepperoni, still healthy. And I'm gonna dip it down in a little bit of rent dressing. Got some rent dressing dipping sauce. Mmm! Boom! Oh! 
Hood folk. I'm trying to lose weight and live a long life. For real. If I got to change it then, I got to cook it myself though. I can't buy it at the store for $9 a crust. This is good. Cauliflower crust. I, if I, well, if you try to fool me, I wouldn't know this wasn't real piece of crust. Get down here. Marinara sauce. Mmm. Damn, that's good. That is good. I'm satisfied. You want to taste it? Of course. Hold on. I need my beverage. What you drinking? This is a frozen raspberry uh, drink with alcohol in it. It has absolute in it. And I fixed it last night, and guess what, hood folks? It's still frozen. Get to the pizza, bro. This bar takes over. Oh. <sighs> All right. What so, you trying first? Just the cheese. Just the regular cheese. It's all right. Uh oh. It's good. I, no, it can't be good and all right. It tastes like broccoli. Broccoli. Like okay. it has broccoli in it. And it don't taste like bread. And it, but it ain't, it ain't nasty. It like, ain't nasty. It's got a strong cauliflower taste. Yeah, it ain't nasty. All right. So what you gonna try next? Oh, you know what? <laughs> the meats. <laughs> we love the meats. Peter gonna get your ass. <laughs> Peter know they want some of this too. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Be, be, oh my goodness. Be straight up now. What it tastes like? Some good ass bacon on a crust with cheese. I'm saying it's the cauliflower crust overpowering everything. Nah. Like it's you good can tell the cheese. You can taste the cheese in the meats in this, and you can't really taste that cauliflower taste. Yep, so if you had to give up bread to start eating cauliflower crust, would you do it? Would you be cool with doing it? Yeah, I'd be I, cool with doing it. Long as I make it, like, long as me and you make it, I'm cool. Hello, folks. Go on and get this a try. Cauliflower crust. <laughs> it's Sunday night. <laughs> Time and fell back. You got an extra hour to fall back in it. <laughs> all right, so that's all you got to say? Mm-hmm. So we finna snack on these and go put this video up on YouTube and we'll see y'all Wednesday for the vlog, good folks. This is good as hell. Look at that crust. 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 Peace.